This is the standard view of Devon Energy's new tower. Closing in on a planned height of 850 feet and 50 stories, it is impressive. We'll be in the first car, guys. But perhaps not as impressive as riding the buck hoist with Devon Executive Chairman Larry Nichols straight up the side of the building. Yeah, 10 floors, 20 floors, 30. As high as it will go for now to 37. Where the Oklahoma wind made us glad there was a barrier at the edge of the floor. It's really windy up here today, but I assume this building is being built to withstand Absolutely. high winds. Absolutely. Nichols says the building's shape will help shed the wind. This will give, but it doesn't have that whiplash effect. Timely reassurance as we begin the steep climb to the top. For safety reasons, our camera goes up separately on a rope. I lose track of the number of floors we scale. So we're on 42? No, we're now on 44. We're on the top floor where you can see they're pouring the uh, columns and the floor. So we're on the, the top floor as high as you can go. It's no place to make a mistake. So whistles warn of moving loads and crews are all business. The view from Sky News 9 tells the story. Not only is this the tallest construction site in the state, it's definitely one of the busiest with more than a thousand workers on site each day. The morning shift starts early in the morning, about 1,200 people uh, work here all day. Then during the evening and uh, the midnight hours, uh, goes down to a staff of 65, 75, something like that. It's essentially a 24-7 operation, massive in every way, including the $750 million price tag. Devon employees are reminded every day of the place that will soon be home. In order to and Nichols make. says that will be sooner than expected as the project is ahead of schedule. The construction itself has gone fairly quickly. Uh, we're, we're building one floor a week. Nichols says the different trades doing the build out are keeping pace through efficiencies like this. This plumbing unit is constructed off site. When the, the plumber get ready to install it, the whole thing has already been built and tested. Our tour takes us to seven, the test floor where subcontractors can work out any kinks. So that everything is perfect, and then they'll start just replicating it going up the tower. We finish in the six-story rotunda. This will be entirely encased in glass. It's Nichols' pride and joy, because it ties the entire headquarters together, and being open to the public, it will further tie together Devon and the city it's called home, since Nichols and his father founded it 40 years ago. When we hired the architects, we looked very carefully. We wanted a building that would be a source of pride for our employees, for our company, uh, and for the city. A long range view, not unlike this one from the top. For Oklahoma Impact, I'm Alex Cameron.